okay now i have actually logged into that per from that particular reviewers account now what i'm going to do i'm going to simply click on this particular repository and obviously if i want i can actually jump directly back to the boards right now but i'm not going to do that so i'm going to simply click here and you can see i can see nothing fancy right now these are the various stats i can see right now with my repository i'm going to click on boards and uh, nothing fancy i'll click on boards and again that is something confusing if i may you can see this this particular thing is happening right now it is saying i uh, adding about dot html page now i come to this repo section and i click on this pull requests so you can see there is a pull request which is created for me and which is assigned to me okay so there are various active completed abundant so completed is basically completed on wednesday there is currently a pull request which is active so you can see i can see all the pull request which are active in the whole organization or i say i should say in the whole project so i'm going to click on my that means this is something where i have to review what is being done so i'm, I'm going to click on this and i'm going to dismiss this and you can see currently i cannot see anything right now i'm going to click on files so you can see these are the changes which are added here okay these are the changes added here but right now obviously i am be i'll be the boss here I'll be the boss here so i'll say okay in this about us html page which is which is line number 7 make it a sentence case that means convert this into a sentence case i comment here and now i will remove this and secondly i'll say lorem i'll say add a button which will take the user to login page again i am just creating various <laughs> useless requests right now so what i have done i have simply said to this particular user that i am just waiting for you i i i want you to make some changes here right now this is going to happen sort of a async communication now what i'll do i'll click on this approve option i'm not going to click on approve i'm going to click here and i'll say wait for author that means now this request will go back to the author and author will see okay what are the changes which are supposed to be done so you can see here added uh, sorry uh, avinash said adding about a page into main zero of two comments resolved that means the, if these comments are resolved then only i can i have the authority to actually make it a pull request so what i'll do i'll come back to my browser and now obviously you can see i am back to my screen where i am the original uh, creator or i should say the person who has requested for this particular pull request i'll again come to this pull request which are created by me yeah and now you can see there are few comments so the comment is add a button which will take user to login page so what i'll do i'll come back to my visual studio code and i'll add the button instead i'll add a h a h ref which is login say hash log just a example I, i'll keep it as hash right now and what is the second review which i'm supposed to do so i'll say uh, make it as a sentence case so this is supposed to be make it as a sentence case so i'll say about us page i'll save the file i'll come to my git kraken resolve the pending comments for five for pr i'll keep it as that it is i'll click on add stages and i'll click on commit and i'll push those changes i've pushed those changes now i'll refresh the page so you can see obviously i can see resolve the pending comments here now obviously this is sort of a scenario where you have to understand either you can first comment and you can say okay i have sort of resolved this issue or you can do it later but again since i've already pushed the code i can say uh, updated sorry added a button so next time user clicks here they will be taken to login page and i'll click on reply and resolve that means i've resolved it and now i'll say made the title text as sentence case 
reply and resolve that simply means that i'm going to reply as well as i have resolved it from my end now i'll go back to the reviewer screen i'll refresh the page right now and you can see i'm getting all comments resolved but how do i know that so i'll come to this pull request you can see waiting for the author i'll click here and now you can see this particular comment has been resolved these are the requests which i have made now what i'll do i'll click on the file section and you can see i made the comment here so you can see i'm getting the history of it that means i made the request that make this as a sentence case and this is the response i have received and here i can see a login page also obviously like again the lining section is the issue now if i'm satisfied now what i'll do i'll come here i'll click here and i'll say approve now i have the option of approve with suggestion reject so i'm not going to reject this because obviously the person has worked hard i'll simply click on approve okay i've just checked i don't know what has happened it was not working for me so i have refreshed the page and now i click on complete so you can see it is saying complete pull request and obviously like sometimes this is something i have seen throughout microsoft products so this is something which i have seen so i'll say merge and i'll say complete merge so you can see it is merging the pull request and it has merged that request now i'll come back to my screen and you can see the request has been now merged so you can see merged pr2 added the required about us page now if i'm going to go to the repo section you can see the branch is already there i'm going to come back to main and you can see about.html page is there so obviously in this particular video you learned how to create sort of a pull request which is obviously we have seen previously but here you can also see how we can review the code and how we can sort of make suggestions to the particular user and how they can actually work with that so that is it for this video I just want to understand if you have any confusion, any doubt, put them in the comment. If you need a career guidance, obviously in that case, there is a link in the description of this video or also in the comment section. Click that link, fill in the details and someone from our team will make sure that your career doubt is clear because this is what we stand for. So thank you very much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.